guys, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and this full inspired makeup look using the brand new Huda Beauty Haze Kaki Palette. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see how I achieve this vineyard inspired look using the newest Huda Beauty Obsessions Kaki Haze Palette, then just keep on watching. I'm a self-proclaimed summer lover, so what in the world I'm doing with this big old sweater, 80 degrees outside, full makeup, I need help. I certainly need help. Yesterday I was at my local Sephora and I came across to the new Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. She came out with three of them. One it is Sand, which I, when I saw it in person, honestly it looks a lot alike to the palettes that she came out last year with, the Nine Pan palettes. What is it called? The new nude ones? nude i don't remember i i actually review them i actually have them in my collection so honestly i thought you know what i don't need another palette with a lot of nude shades more purples but two of them they still intrigue me and i actually mentioned it to you on my latest will i buy it video that i was super intrigued about this khaki haze palette so yes, I gave in, I picked it up, and I also picked up the purple haze one. So I have these two right here, but today I think I want to create kind of like a grungy look using this khaki palette because I think the color story is very different, the shades, I mean I don't have these shades on my collection. I do, I'm not a lover of greens, but I kind of like olive greens from time to time, you know, it, it will depend, but the way that this palette was created the color story it's so pretty it's so pretty okay friends so let me show it to you close right here it costs 29 dollars it comes with nine different shades the compact comes with a very nice size mirror just as her other obsession palettes it's so pretty and let me just give you a quick peek right here of the purple haze palette look at this isn't this beautiful too I think this is very pretty. Let me know if you want to see a review on this one or maybe we can do a try on haul, something like that. Yeah. And these have a shelf life of 24 months. And I have a couple other products right here that I haven't tried just yet. Yesterday while I was at my local Sephora, I picked up another of the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. And this one is in the shade Happy. And it made me so happy to see this shade right here. It looks very beautiful. It's your typical kind of like pink shade, you know, that happy shade. <laughs> so I'm super happy about it. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy and glad to have you here. Just to let you know, I film in natural light. And today it's kind of like a weird day in my area. I mean, it's a little bit foggy, but there's sun, it's hot, and then the clouds are in and out, so you see that change of lighting. I know, perhaps for winter time, I'm gonna change to, you know, like artificial light, but in the meantime, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do natural light. Yes, but basically this video is gonna be most focused on reviewing this palette, giving you swatches, and perhaps going into a little bit of comparisons with other palettes from Huda Beauty. But yeah, mostly it's that, and then I have other products right here that I just wanna use and, you know, have some fun. And then I have other products right here that I have actually reviewed too, like this Hourglass Sculpture Mini Palette. And I don't know, I just feel like, okay, I need to use these products right here. So let me get you closer and let's just start with this grungy makeup look. I'm gonna prime my face with this Victoria Beckham by Agostinos Bader. And this is a rejuvenating primer. And this is in the golden version. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a summer girl, so I need to have some golden, okay? <laughs> some golden tones. And I'm so excited because also Victoria Beckham, she's coming out with some bullet lipsticks all the shades look amazing i cannot wait to get my hands on them oh it's coming soon a lot of things they are going to be launching on october 1st actually a lot of them so keep your eyes peeled if you're looking for something 
and this feels so good this is basically a moisturizer but it has a little bit of that golden tone to it I mean it's not gonna bronze your face at all it's just gonna give you a little bit of luminosity to your face and for my base I'm gonna go with Pat McGrath a skin fetish sublime perfection foundation and my shade is light medium 13 by the way all the products that i will be using today they will be listed on the description box below for your convenience and i'm using my dose of colors sponge i love this little sponge so good magic away color corrector You know what, I have been using so many times the Pat McGrath concealer that today I said, you know what, let's go back to the Hourglass Banish Concealer. Such a good one, it does have full coverage and this specific shade right here has a little bit of peach in it, which it also helps me to diminish those under eye circles that I have. <laughs> you see this sponge the little tip is so great to get right there inside for my under eyes I'm gonna go with this Gucci setting powder I don't know if you want to see how I do my brows but just in case I'm using my Gucci brow pencil I must set my brows so typical right here my benefit brow setter and then the moment that I have been waiting for is to use this beauty right here to me really this is I love the color story I hope the formula is up to par of what I'm looking for but this is just so beautiful this shade right here has such a beautiful flip just gorgeous I'm gonna go row by row. Such a beauty, huh? Wow, I'm impressed right here. You know, the matte shades they feel like butter they don't skip they just like glide on so easy i have high hopes right here <sighs> scott barnes number 62 brush taking it above the crease sonia g mini booster taking it right on the crease sonia g soft shader taking it on my outer third so far everything is blending amazingly now i want to deepen now my outer v and i think i want to go with this shade right here and i'm going to use a sigma e42 brush sonia g builder pro and let's go to this shade and i'm going to apply it completely dry inner portion of my eyelid Finding just a little bit of fallout. So I'm gonna use my Smith 253 brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and wet it with some Mac Fix Plus. Now this shade right here is a topper. It doesn't really have a base. I mean, it looks like if it has a base, but it's more like a topper. So I'm just gonna apply it right in the middle of the eyelid. BK Beauty 204 brush. Taking this shade on my lower lash line. Rever O2 brush Sonia G flat definer Sonia G flat definer and we go to this shade now I'm applying it on my outer third of my lower lash line Rever O3 brush this goes on my inner corner and on my brow bone Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Overdrive NARS Climax Extreme Mascara For my bronzer, I'm gonna go to this Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Sculpture and Lock Can brands really stop making the names longer and longer and longer? It's just... I mean, get creative One name, that's it I mean like, look at Huda Haze 
Kaki. That's it. Make it easy. Goodness gracious. Okay, hourglass. And then if you haven't watched my review, I did a review of this one, as well as the Sculpture Six Pan Palette for this holiday 2020. So I'm going right here with the bronzer, and I'm using my Wayne Goss, the artist collection, that largest brush. This is a really good palette. If you miss on the original one, or even the Goss version, I mean, I would highly suggest you just need these. You don't need the rest of powders. And the good thing about it too is that these will work for those who have a little bit more into the tan to getting close to the deep skin tones. But medium tan, tan, yeah, definitely. And for blush, I really want to try this Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. Totally a happy color. It's more of like, I mean, it's a pink, but it's a little bit in the cooler tone. And I had made a review with a full face of Rare Beauty, and I'm really impressed with the brand, mostly with these blushes. Now, these blushes, they have so much pigment, you honestly need a dot. Like, that's all what you need. Don't use any more than that. And I really love the packaging too, how easy it is to open. This, you know what? It actually recalls me to kind of like a mentos. <laughs> You know, but it's really easy to open. I mean, like, I think everything, absolutely everything from Rare Beauty was really well thought out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use just my finger. Mmm, love it. This is perfect. Because it's a little bit on the cool tone side. And for highlighter, I'm going to go back to the Sculpture palette with my Refer 20 brush. Parpa Grad has come out with new shades of her lip pencils and I have purchased the shade 316 Cosmic Vibes. I really love the packaging from Parpa Grad and I mean all these colors right now is just giving me all the vibes. I'm curious to see what's going to be the holiday collection for Pat McGrath. She hasn't shown anything at all. And right now, oh, there's so many brands giving us those sneak peeks of their holiday collection. For lips, I'm going to Hermes Rose Sinsoline 50. Let's set the makeup with YSL Touche Clad 3D All Over Glow. And I'm using a La Mer brush. Okay friends, so here it is, my final full grungy inspired look. I think I was mostly inspired to like a vineyard style of look because I must be missing those things to be honest with you. I mean with all what is going on right now 2020, if you don't know, I'm an event coordinator, I have a catering business, I cater a lot of weddings and this year this year has been like boom, boom, boom. But you know what I have actually great great news right here that I love to share with you but we were future at Martha's store for a wedding that we did in March it actually was the last wedding we did in 2020 before you know we went into quarantine so that makes me super excited that gave me a lot of like great energy it's like okay looking forward to 2021 everything is gonna go back to normal so for right now I'm enjoying a lot of my time here on YouTube and I'm just gonna keep growing my channel but it must be that feeling that a lot of the weddings that I actually either cater or coordinate they are done at vineyards because I live here in California in a vineyard area so anyhow I must be missing it so here you go this is the makeup look and for what you came for my opinion about this haze khaki palette from Huda Beauty 
I will say, don't miss it. I mean, the price, $29, the quality is there. You get, these mattes are super creamy, butter creamy, blendable. The metallic shades right here, they are gorgeous. This topper shade is exquisite too. You saw how I applied it because it's meant to be a topper. It's not really a metallic shade. This right here, it does have a beautiful flea between a green and a pink tone you know what it reminds me a lot to the natasha denona the new liquid chromium eyeshadow in the shade infranur that's that in the powder version i mean like so gorgeous this palette who is giving me all the vibes not only that here if you don't know where to start like what looks to do just treat it as quartets like here you have a quad right here that you can make one look another quad right here you can make another look another quad right here if you want a deeper look and then a medium tone right here and that way you have so many looks right here you can also treat it in six you know but i will say if you go in quads it will be a lot easier for you to kind of like get the hang out of it beautiful palette now as far as other palettes from huda beauty that are alike to this one there's nothing and I think that's what it intrigued me the most because we see a lot from Huda that is either pink and purple that's you know even the haze sand the new mini obsessions palette is of that kind so I thought you know what this is different the greens right here are not intimidating greens I do have though the emerald obsessions and as you can tell I mean, I don't even, I cannot even say that they complement each other because they are different type of greens, but I mean, so well, well done. And other than that, this palette just give me a little bit of vibes. It kind of reminds me a little bit to 2019 Chanel Quad. I don't remember the name, but I will put the picture right here. I mean, that that is only a quad, but it's kind of like, you know, giving me that vibe, like with the pink tones and the olive tones. Also to the new Dior Queen in Jungle. I also reviewed that one, so make sure you check it out if you really like olive and green tones eyeshadow palette now I'm very curious to try the purple haze this looks promising too so let me know if you want to see perhaps we can do a third fall inspired look by using this one right here that could be fun because I just did my first one with the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette so I will leave it up on the card so you can go ahead and watch it it's again an inspired fall makeup look this could be the second one this could be a third one I don't know let me know if you want to see that who am I doing fall inspired makeup? <laughs> I cannot believe it because I, I'm just telling you, I'm a summer girl. Okay, my friends, and I think this is it for this video. I want to know from you, have you picked up any of these Huda Beauty new Obsessions haze palettes? Or which one is the one that is intriguing you the most? Let's just start the conversation down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel. Ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads because here on this channel, I bring you a lot of great content from new makeup releases, reviews, hauls, first impressions, try-ons, I mean, you name it. There's a lot right here. And I, again, would love for you to become part of my family. Also, if you are on Instagram, please come and follow me there help me out to grow my family on my instagram and if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye